Okay, so we're quickly going to shop for the subscription boxes. So I just realized I didn't film an intro for this video. So weird. I don't know how I didn't, but I'm going to make it really quick. Basically, in this video, we are battling out fashion subscription boxes. Enjoy. I'm pretty sure all of them ship to Canada. I know for sure two do, and one of those two is actually a Canadian subscription box. So I'm interested to try that one. But okay, so it's my fashion crate. Rock box and golden tote. So I think the first one we'll do is my fashion crate. Their website is eye-catching. Let's get the box. Okay, so they have two boxes. One is $49.95 and you get five to eight items. And the other one is $35 and we get three to four items. So I'm gonna do the $50 one just because I'd like to see more items. And they show this little picture and it has this little bag and it says all this stuff came in there. And I find it hard to believe that even that many fit in there. Like, how did they get the shoes in there with those jeans? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Start of the test. They want to know the size. So I'm a small. Zero, two, four. This is difficult because I'm in between a zero and a two. So, shoe size. Six. <laughs> six. How did that even happen? Is that it? Is that all the test took? They just wanted to know my size. Do they want to know anything about my outfit? Usually with subscription boxes on the videos I've seen, you have to take like a big long test, but I guess not. So, okay, so my fashion crate took a credit card. There wasn't an option for PayPal. $49 shipping was $13 to Canada. No problem. Really, really easy, straightforward. Going to be sent a bunch of random stuff. That was an incomplete sentence. I don't really feel like this one in particular got to know me very well, but I mean, we'll see what we get. Okay, so now we're on Frockbox. This is the Canadian one, so let's get started. Okay, so here's how it works. Frockbox has jewelry, Frockbox gold, and then there's Frockbox favorites. Frockbox favorites is receive five pieces of clothing pick just for you by your stylist based on your profile. Try them on at home, but put returns in the resealable bag with prepaid postage. So this one looks like you have to send the items back, which is more normal, whereas Fashion Crate seems like you get to keep them. See, does Frockbox Gold, does that mean you don't have to send it back? I think I'm gonna do Frockbox Gold. Fall out. Top size, small. Pant size, one. See, that's more my size. That should have been an option. Hi. Let's get to know who you are. Profession, YouTuber. Okay, great. So the frock box was $59.95 and then $9.95 shipping, then taxes. So $72.90. One thing I did notice was the layout of the questionnaire looked the exact same as Fashion Crate. So, okay, let's try Golden Tote now. As your personal stylist, we personally hand pick, hand pack every tote. Oh, okay. Oh no, this is asking for a zip code. I don't have a zip code. Okay, so I found a new box. It's called Fabletix and it's for Fabletix. I don't know. Fa Fablet, yeah, probably. But anyway, so I think it ships to Canada. So let's see what we can find. Oh, and this is all like gym clothes. So it's kind of different than the other ones, but we'll see. Dang it, it asks for a zip code. Already what I'm noticing is if you live in Canada, a lot of these style boxes won't be an option for you. Just fully out of the fact that you live in Canada. So let's see what Wantable has. Wow, this test is long. See, the issue is if I take this test and it still doesn't ship to Canada, I'm not. Ju I'm just not gonna get a third box because not okay. No, not a state. I need a province. Oh no. Are you serious? I just took like an hour long test and they don't ship to Canada. Okay. Okay, so now I've officially tried three more boxes that don't ship to Canada. So I think I'm just going to leave it at the two, Frock Box and Fashion Crate. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, but it's just the fact of the matter that I don't think a lot of these style subscription boxes can ship to Canada yet just because there's a lot of shipping back and forth clothing articles. I just don't think 
that the margins are big enough to be able to ship it all over the place. But for the two that could, thank you. Props to you for including us Canadians. But okay, let's flip to when we have both of these boxes to try out. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have received both my frock box and my fashion crate box. And as you guys can see also, both are not actually boxes. They both are packing bags. This one more a bag than this one is a packing bag. Whoa, this one's trying to fall down. It is a little bit ironic that both of them are in fact not actually boxes, seeing how these are fashion subscription boxes, but that doesn't really matter. At first glance, it makes it seem like there's not as many items in it, but I'm sure they can fit the same amount in a bag and in a box. So we have the frock box, which was $59.95 plus shipping, and fashion crate, which was $49.95. We got the most expensive box from both brands, so the premium or the gold. From a packaging standpoint, I really like both of them. I like how they have their brand clearly on the outside. Frock box, you know what you're getting. You see this in the mailbox and you know it's your frock box. It says it all over. And same sort of deal with Fashion Crate, except Fashion Crate kind of has the upper hand just because their packaging is actually holographic. Yeah. I don't know where the supplier found this bag, but I need to get my hands on it immediately. Feeling both of them, it definitely seems like there's going to be more products in my fashion crate, which is good because it also is the more inexpensive one, but I think we should start off opening the frock box. I'm really, really excited to see what's inside. I've been letting these sit in my house for quite a while. They came middle of the month. Frock box actually came five days before fashion crate did, so they must ship out at different times, but oh, and they never actually used the sticky to stick it over. Weird. Like usually they would go, I did it for them. Okay, why did I even bother? Okay, first thing I see is the exact same color as the sweater I'm wearing. What the heck? Okay, what are these? I swear I didn't plan this. I had yet to open. You guys saw I had to open the bag. It just so happens that it's the exact same color as the shirt I'm wearing, which is a good sign because clearly I like this color. I already own something this color. But this is a pair of really, really flowy pants. Kind of look like capris. They look like they'll be a little short on me. We'll have to try those on. And then another item that is in here is this shirt. Oh my goodness, this shirt is so cute. It's this little flowy tank top. Oh, and it says the prices on them. So the pants were, oh, it doesn't say the price of the pants. So it doesn't say the price of the pants, but on the tag of the shirt, it says it's $29. So already half the price of the box is in the shirt. Wow, and I actually think that these will look really good together. There is one more item and it is a necklace. So this is a choker set. There's one little lace black choker and then this one with the little gold accent and it is all together so you wear them together. So that is a pretty cute outfit. I think we should put it all on and see how it looks all together. So let's do that. Okay, so here is all of the items from the frock box on all together. I'm really, really impressed, firstly, that everything fits. I know I put my sizes on, but sometimes I think sizing isn't the only thing that'll make it fit, so I'm happy. Shirt fits, pants fit, I missed the pocket. I think they did a really good job styling everything all together. I definitely wouldn't usually wear this light gray with this burnt orange, but now seeing it all together, I think it looks really good together. The pants are a little bit short on me, but I'm pretty sure they're actually supposed to be short. I think they're supposed to be like ankle pants. That's kind of the style makes me think of. I don't remember if in this test I wrote that I like to be comfortable, but they did a kind of dressed up outfit but kept it comfy, so I feel like this is really personalized to me. Yeah, I think that this worked out really good. I definitely could see myself wearing all of these pieces together and separately with other items, so I think Frockbox did a really amazing job with this. Next box we have to try is my Fashion Crate. I'm really, really excited to see what's in here because this one feels a lot more full than the frock box. so, and they seem to fit quite a bit of stuff in that one, so I'm Excited to see what they fit in this one. Okay, just by the sneak peek inside, I can tell these are colors that I really like. So there are a few slips in here. Oh my goodness, wait a second. This 
tells me exactly what's in here. Okay, I don't want to look at that. I want to be surprised. So let's open it up. All right. This looks like it's going to be a shirt. Yeah, and it's in, it's a small and it's in blush. Here is that top. It's this roughly blush pink top. This looks really cute. And actually right on this sheet they give, they tell you all the prices. Another big piece. This thing is another shirt. This is a sleeveless button up shirt. I definitely have nothing like this shirt in my collection. And this is also supposed to be $45 a small there's this little box and it says 31 bits fashion for good and this looks like a little bracelet oh this is cute and it really matches the two shirts I like this and this is supposed to be $22 so clearly the entire box is worth more if you were to pay full price than the box itself this little bag positive little Positive elements made in North America. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like real leather. What the heck? So this is a modern leather pouch with gold ring, zipper closure, and chic striped lining. Always ethically made, and it's $54 value. So that's crazy. And it is right. It's got stripes on the inside. So there is a box in here that looks like it was kind of broken up. But it says nail lacquer and there's a nail polish right here, so I'm guessing that's what that is. This is a petite palm nail lacquer. This is super cute and this color is completely my color. I wore mint green for so many years until my Sally Hansen mint green ran out. So now I can use this. Let's see it. Why did I think that it would smell different? And this is valued at $8. I really like the packaging of this brand. Okay, and then it looks like there is a makeup, a liquid lip stain in the shade Pebble. Okay, what is this gonna look like? I'm hoping for a nude pink. Not a nude pink. <laughs> kind of a burnt rusty orange color. It pushes you to try them. Get out of your comfort zone. Last two items. I don't even know if they're actually items. This is a, there's a button that says wear your values. I will. And then the last item is a revitalizing mask for all skin types. Hydrate and soften skin. Definitely needed hydrating. I just found something. So I was looking at this little card and I found the other shirt and the lip tint on this side. And the shirt that is the tie in the front is actually $58. So I'm gonna quickly do the math and get this right. Okay, so if you were going to pay full price for every item in this box, it would cost $225, but you got it for $49.95 plus tax. Crazy difference. Clearly the stuff in here is worth it. Wow, that's actually kind of insane. Okay, let's try everything on though. Now I know they probably didn't mean to have you wear this shirt with nothing underneath, but I just put it on and I was like, oh, it doesn't look too bad on its own. So I thought I would show it. Here's that one shirt, it's super wrinkly, but the idea is so cute. Definitely not something I would usually wear other than the color is something I do like, the peachy color. It's a little bit cropped. I am wearing high-waisted jeans because the Fashion Crate box didn't come with pants, so I just decided to put on a black pair that I thought would match everything. This was the one that I think was $58. It's really, really cute, and I'm super happy I have it, but let's try on the other one. All right, here I've got the other shirt on. It's a little wrinkly as well, but this shirt is super soft. You can tell it's good quality. I like the way it looks. It's just not my personal style. This is something that... I've never owned or would usually wear and personally don't know if I would wear it just in general So I think I'll give it to my mom because it just so happens that it's kind of her style But okay, so I have the little bracelet on as well that came with this and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this liquid lip stain Oh my goodness. This smells so good Wow, that smells so good. There we go. We got it on kind of looks like I go with my shirt a little bit more now that I have a darker lip on and also with this bag, of course, you have this little purse, satchel thing, and the nail polish. So lots of stuff 
in this one. Okay, so now is the time I'm going to do my final thoughts and which box I think won, which is gonna be really difficult for this one because there's pros and cons on both sides that there isn't a clear winner. First things first, I think Fashion Crate is a better bang for your buck. And if you've never heard that saying and it sounded weird for me to say that saying, it basically means you get a lot of items and a lot of items that are worth more than what you paid, so you get a lot for your buck. Like to have $225 worth of stuff in a box and you paid $49.95, that is amazing. I do though feel like this wasn't a box that was generated specifically for me as much as it's a subscription box that the same things get sent out to everyone, so there's enough stuff in it that you have to at least like one thing. There was face mask, nail polish, lipstick, two shirts, you gotta like some stuff in there. Whereas Frockbox on the other side, I think you're basically paying full price for each item, but it's more of a generated specifically towards you. And by that, I mean that outfit is something that my test, I think, showed that I would like, but I haven't personally put together. I feel like you're paying more full price for everything to be $59.95, and the shirt we know is $25, the pants and necklace we don't know how much it is. Uh, I think you're kind of paying full price for it. I wouldn't say those pants are like something crazy expensive or the necklace. So I think they're in the same realm, but they're very different. I think they both have a specializing in separate, separate groups. <laughs> what am I talking about? One thing that I will say that is a positive for both of them is that they both ship to Canada and I want to personally say thank you because as you guys saw I tried a lot of websites and a lot of them didn't ship to me which sucks like the shipping worldwide should just be a thing. So Frockbox, I think you'll get a lot of good outfit ideas and a lot of cute items, but I don't think you'll be getting any crazy good deals. For Fashion Crate, I think you'll get a lot of items and you'll probably like quite a few of them and you're getting a good deal, but it's not specifically generated to just you. So yeah, with all of that being said, I really feel like I've got to give it a tie. I know, I, <laughs> mm. I swear if you guys want Battle of the Boxes to be a series on my channel, they won't always be a tie. I just feel like there's a lot of good and bad on both spectrums. I can't say a clear winner because I really like stuff from both. But yeah, that being said, I didn't really get into it, but I want to do a series on my channel called Battle of the Boxes, where I try two subscription boxes and they duel it out to see who the, is the winner. And this is the first episode. If you guys want it to be a series, comment down below what boxes you want to see next. They can be food boxes, they can be clothing, shoes, accessory, video games, I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you thought it was fun and exciting, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe. Oh my goodness, I'm so backwards. If you guys wanna see more of my videos, if you guys wanna see more of my videos, I post on Fridays and Sundays and the best way to be notified is by hitting the bell icon and clicking notify always. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.